Hello, everyone. I'm Qin Qin Long from Chinese Academy of Sciences. It, today, it's our great honor to give a presentation of our work, and Wheeling Delay Effects in Traffic Forecasting, a Prospective from Spatial Temporal Delay Differential Equations. Graph-based traffic flow forecasting is a fundamental task in various smart city applications. And its goal is to predict the future traffic flow based on the previous uh, traffic observations. And uh, in recent years, GNN-based traffic flow forecasting models has been, uh, popu has been popular backbones. Uh, however, general GNNs propagate the suddenly changed message indistinguishably based on the edges relation. And we give an example here. Uh, this is a graph, and uh, it has the time signal uh, process in each node. And we can see there's a peak signal, and it happens at the, uh, the fifth minute. And after the first propagation, the node 2 and the node 4 receive the same update information simultaneously in graph propagation. And we can see that the peak signal happens at the 10th minute uh, in, the fifth, uh, in the first node. And uh, well, they do not uh, in the realistic scene. And uh, as we can see from the right figure, uh, the peak signal uh, it actually happens at the 15th minute. And, uh, uh, and we call this a time delay. Uh, it, I can, it, as we can see from the right figure, there's a, a five minute delay between the node one and the node two. And then there's a 10 minute delay between node one and the node four. Due to the road ca capacities and the road lengths, the delays between different rows are different. Uh, and we also show a figure to statistically give the time delay. Uh, the figure shows that the time delay distribution among neighbors in a popular user traffic data site. And the x coordinate rate is the delay, and the y coordinate rate is the, its corresponding counts. N next, we introduce our second motivation, the inherent continuity. Uh, the required prediction resolutions may vary across different applied scenarios. For example, the sampling precision of our traffic sensors may be at a 10 minute interval. However, during the prediction phase, uh, we aspire to attain fine grade forecasting precision for the traffic emergency management. And at this time, models need to be retrained for each specific demand. However, existing methods simply outline RNNs or TCNs, which accept discrete observations as the input. Now we introduce the problem definition of our work. As we mentioned above, uh, the, the our goal is to learn, uh, our goal is to predict the future traffic flows the, uh, based on the previous observations. And uh, compare with traditional methods, the difference uh, the difference of our work between the traditional models. Uh, the difference lies in our model trained at some face green and may need to generate a dif differently grained prediction to satisfy the complicated real world scenario needs. In response to these challenges, we proposed the STDDD model. It, can, uh, it consists of two components. The first one is the spatial temporal delay aware differential equations. And uh, uh, it, the tau ij is the most important concept. It denotes the time delay between node vi and the node vj. And the second component is the continuous output model. And we will give a more detailed introduction of these two components in the next. We first begin to introduce our time delay estimators. In this paper, we propose two estimators. The first one is a per computing estimator. It maximizes the cross correlation among neighbor nodes. And all the delay values are estimated in advance based on the historical data. Then we propose a second learnable estimator the time delay exhibit inherent variability. 
For example, longer delays often occur during the morning and evening rushing hours. So we design two learnable delay parameters to each edge: tone IJ peak for the peak hours and tone IJ non peak for non peak hours. Then we introduce our neural delay aware differential equations. This equation gives a framework of our proposed NDDE, where the tau is the delay value and the phi t is the historical function. In NDDE, the, evalu uh, the evaluation process is related to its history. And as this is a framework as the uh, function f is not specific specifically defined, then we give a specific derivation of the NDDE. And in this paper, we take the GRU as an example, and then the specific derivation can be defined as, as the following equations. And then we subtracting uh, the edge from, uh, from its previous hidden states, and now we have the dirt edge. And the dirt edge in the ODE equation framework naturally leads to the following diffusion equations. Next. We incorporating the spatial temporal delayed colorations into our proposed NDDE. We outline a GNN to extract spatial features and view them as the update uh, vectors, where the GIT is the update vector of node i at the time t, and alpha ij is the edge weight, and tau ij is the delay value between node vi and node vj. And the C is a constant to control the ratio of the spatial information. And we can see based on this equation, we can uh, incorporate the spatial temporal delay colorations into our framework. Then we introduce our continuous output model. And we apply another STDDE to, general, to generate the final outputs. And it has two advantages. The first advantage is is that the hidden states remain continuous in the hidden space, ensuring the uni unity between the input and the output process. And the second advantage is, unlike traditional output layers that provide predictions with a fixed horizon. And in this paper, we can pre predict traffic flow at various frequencies. Now we come to the part of experiments. We first introduce our data sites and experimental settings. We conduct our experiments on six popular used real traffic work data sites. And we compare our model with two kinds of baselines. The first one is the spatial temporal graph ODEs. And the second kind is the spatial temporal graph neural networks. We, uh, we first introduce the overall performance. As we can see from the table, the STDDE gains the best performance on almost all the metrics for most data sites. And then we give a case study of the time delay. Uh, we first uh, introduce our settings. Uh, we randomly select two connected neighbor, neighbor nodes, uh, this node and this node, from a traffic data site. And uh, we use a comparison model. Uh, this model is called STDE no delay. And in this model, we set all the delays uh, to zero. And uh, the blue line is the ground truth. Uh, it means the real time traffic flow. And we found two conclusions. Uh, as we can see in the right figure, uh, the green line, this, this is a green line. Uh, it's a peak earlier than the blue line, uh, which is the ground truth in the right figure. And uh, it means uh, in, 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 in the realistic scene, the time delay really exists. And the right line shows that it is, uh, uh, it, the, the peak uh, appears before the real time. And uh, we can see the yellow line is the result of STDDE. And uh, the results of our paper uh, are remarkably closer uh, to the ground truth uh, than the, our baseline model. Next, we also conducted the running efficiency experiments. We also compared with two kinds of baselines. The first one is the spatial temporal graph ODEs, and the second one is the spatial temporal graph neural networks. 
And this table shows uh, the number of parameters and the training and inference time during one uh, epoch. And we can find the, the conclusions that our model achieves competitive computational e efficiency in both the training and the inference phases. Finally, we conclude our contribution as follows. Our model models the time delay in spatial propagation process, and the, the learnable estimator accurately de depicts uh, the time delay. Uh, the third one is our proposed continuous output is able to predict various frequencies, which provide more flexibility to different scenarios. And also, we conduct experiments on six data sites to demonstrate our effectiveness. For more details, please go to see our paper. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me at this email. And thank you very much. Do you have any questions? <laughs>